Plastics encompass a wide range of materials that are used in almost every facet of life. I can guarantee that you have at least one product made of plastic on your desk right now, which merely demonstrates the abundance of plastic in our everyday lives. This video will be discussing the history of plastics, raw materials used in the creation of plastics, the distinction between thermoplastics and thermosets, as well as example materials in each category, and finally the recycling processes that can be used with plastics. A plastic is any material that is composed of polymers, which are chains of molecules. For example, here is the atomic structure of a common plastic, PET, known as polyethylene terephthalate, which you can see here is made of a repeating chain of molecules. Early plastics, such as polyvinyl chloride, were naturally sourced from tree saps and were rubber-based, before becoming more oil-based towards the tail end of the 19th century and throughout the early 20th century. Modern plastics come mainly from crude oils and fossil fuels. The development of plastics would accelerate during the Second World War, as armies needed lighter and more flexible materials, such as nylon and bakelite. A great philosopher once deduced that not all that glitters is gold. We can apply this philosophy to plastics, in the sense that not all plastics are crude oil or fossil fuels based. Bioplastics are a subset of plastics that are created using more sustainable means, such as biomass, cornstarch, etc. An example of a bioplastic would be polyactic acetate, or PLA, which is a common material used in 3D printing processes. Now, let's examine one of the two types of plastics, which is a thermoplastic. The atomic structure of thermoplastics is that it has linear chain molecules with weak secondary bonds between the chains. General characteristics of thermoplastics are that they are ductile, they have low stiffness, they're easily injection molded, they're typically cost effective, and the main one is that they can be reshaped after heating. Specific examples of thermoplastics include polypropylene, which is a plastic with high resistance to temperature and is very recyclable, and therefore is used in bowls and food containers. Another example is high impact polystyrene, which has high impact strength and it has dimensional stability, which means that it is often used in kitchen utensils as well as signs. Finally, polyvinyl chloride is a thermal plastic that comes in a variety of colors which provides a wide range of aesthetics and can be either stiff or flexible with the help of a plasticizer. It is commonly used in shampoo bottles, in the creation of credit cards, and is also used in piping. Now let's look at the structure of thermosetting plastics. Thermosetting plastics are linear chain molecules with strong primary bonds between adjacent polymer chains, which gives thermosets a rigid three-dimensional structure. General properties of thermosetting plastics are that they have high stiffness, have higher strength than thermoplastics, and cannot be reheated or remolded, as thermoplastics would be. Now let's look at specific examples of different thermosetting plastics. Polyurethrane is a thermosetting plastic that is available in a wide variety of forms. It can be tailored for a variety of applications, for example, use in sponges, roller blade wheels, adhesives, coatings, car paints, insulation, etc. It has very good tensile and compressive strength, is impact resistant, it has good electrical resistivity, it has good bonding properties, and it has good thermal insulation. Another example of a common thermal setting plastic used is epoxy resin, which is commonly used in adhesives, fiber optics, and craft and industry jewelry. Properties of epoxy resin include high toughness, high thermal and electrical resistance, as well as high chemical resistance. Finally, let's talk about the recovery, disposal, and recycling of plastics. Nearly all plastics can be recycled, but it mainly depends on a variety of economical, technical, and logistical factors. Thermoplastics can be easily recycled, whereas thermal sets are harder to be recycled as the plastic needs to be crushed into fine grains in order to melt it again. Not all plastics may be accepted at recycling facilities due to its chemical makeup. For example, bioplastics tend to require a high temperature in order to break down and decompose. 